welcome to a random adventure at the Renaissance Fair. When I see this billboard go up, I know it's time for an adventure. This first video is just going to be a walk through the fair. This way I can show you the vibe of the fair and you get a feel for the atmosphere. And on this day, I was meeting up with some friends, so you might see the same couple of faces reoccurring over and over again. The other thing to note is the weather on this day was crazy. It started off a little bit overcast, then it became sunny, then it became a downpour, then it became sunny again, and then it became another downpour. So you're gonna see a lot of weather changes in these videos. Yeah. Welcome, to Welcome to our harvest fair. One of the things that I took notice of was the unique type of vendors at the fair. You can get some pretty unique items that you couldn't normally get in your everyday life. One thing I was looking forward to trying was mead. This was actually my second time at the fair, but in the previous year I wasn't able to try mead because COVID was still a factor in everybody's life, so the fair was a little bit smaller that year. COVID was less of a factor this year, so mead was back, but I think it still affected the size and the turnout of the fair. And like with Fanime, I think 2023 is going to be the year that the Renaissance Fair comes back at full strength. As we continue our walk, you'll notice multiple stages throughout the area. Each stage area has a posted schedule of the performances. So you can walk from stage to stage and usually find some form of entertainment at any given time. They usually tend to be on the comedic side. With only very few minor exceptions, the performances and the fair itself is very family and kid friendly. And while most booths and activities are for all ages, others are more for the kids. while some booths and areas are targeting the adults. Another thing to notice is that, much like Fanime, there are many cosplayers. I'll go into deeper details about Renfair cosplay in a future video. It's a very friendly and happy atmosphere, and some people are very clever and funny, like this gentleman who approached my friend. I have been tasked to deliver this missive directly to the city. Well, that was very kind of him. Huh. I guess you can't escape telemarketers even in medieval times. This is the main food and drink area. There are also some other activities and booths, but it's mainly food and drink. And despite the rapidly changing weather, I had a really good time at the Renaissance Fair. Hope you'll join me for the next random adventure at the Renaissance Fair. Until then, take care. Mm -hmm.